born in Harlem, New York in 1965, Richard Melville Hall, a.k.a. Moby, started his musical career in a hardcore punk band called the Vatican Commandos, who released an EP called Hit Squad for God in the early 1980s. He went on to score eight UK top 40 singles as a techno act in the 1990s before releasing the more mainstream play in 1999, which sold more than 10 million copies worldwide. Play also claimed the distinction of being the first album ever to have all of its tracks licensed for use in movies, television shows or commercials, making it a financial success months before it became a platinum selling album. I think one of the reasons why my music has been licensed a lot for film and TV shows and advertisements is that it has a sort of melodic emotional quality to it, but it also has an atmospheric quality to it as well. And this isn't something I ever think about. You know, when I'm writing a piece of music, I'm not trying to make it atmospheric, but at the same time, I love the way that music can sort of transform the environment in which it's being played. You know, if you put on a piece of atmospheric music, suddenly it makes you see the, worm, the, the world that you're in and the room that you're in a lot differently. Moby's eagerness to license his music was motivated by his humble beginnings. Not that becoming a multimillionaire has brought about any dramatic changes in his life. He's lived in the same small New York apartment for the last 10 years, and until recently, he was occasionally seen waiting tables at a tea shop he co-owned called TNY. I don't know. Uh, I mean, it's weird, because I've always, my entire life, seen myself as being this underground, marginal music figure. You know, I make records in my bedroom in New York, and I still make records in my bedroom in New York. Uh, so how the success of play might have changed me as a person or as a musician, I don't, I don't know if I figured it out yet. Because I, I spent my whole life basically expecting people to not pay attention to me or to what I was doing. So it's, it's a bit disconcerting to suddenly find myself in a position where people are paying attention. He followed up play with 18 in 2002 and another album called Hotel in 2005, for which he handed most of the singing duties over to vocalist Laura Dawn. On his 2005 European tour, he gave out CD recordings of the concert 10 minutes after it ended. Yeah, my feeling with live performances is if you're going to put something on stage, it should be really entertaining and really interesting. Since then, Moby has continued to push the boundaries, acting in a film, scoring a soundtrack, setting up a band called Little Death, and releasing his 2008 album Last Night, ahead of his 2009 release, Wait For Me.